What's up everybody, Steve Looney here, GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is episode number one of my new Adobe Muse CC Quick Tip Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up a brand new website in Muse. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to File New Site or Command N or on a PC Control N. And the new site window is going to pop up. Now, if you just hit OK, these credentials in here set by Adobe are basics for the even the type of site that you see on the screen. So I'm just going to go over these real quick. The page width, the uh, page height right here. Uh, let's just keep these the same. You can always uh, obviously customize them in the comments below. Let me know what settings you may do that are different and why. Um, the initial layout we're doing right now is a desktop. We can also do a tablet and a phone. What I normally do is I design my desktop layout, then I design my tablet and my phone layouts later, which I'll touch on in a future episode. Now the margins are the area where your content's going to be within. So basically, you have a top, bottom, left, and right. Here's a left margin between here and here. Here's a top, here's a right, and then the bottom you obviously can't see because it is a long page. So the columns and the column width, all right, that has to do with our how many columns right here so we can help us line things up when we're designing. Uh, the width of them and then the gutter, how much space is going to be between them. The padding is top, bottom, and left you're not going to have a chance to change if you have the website centered horizontally. So we'll touch on this all in later tutorials. So the top margin and the bottom margin, uh, the padding is really how far away you have your content from the outside of the browser. Now you can actually manually change this later and I will show you that too. So we're now going to hit OK. Okay. We do have a new blank site, but what I want to do is I want to jump back into the other website you just saw on the screen, which you can see as one of my demo websites in my new course. It's also in the description as a link, a live link that you can take a look at. And we're going to come up into File Site Properties. And I'm going to show you that basically you can change this on the fly and you can see your changes. So if we change the page width, you're going to notice everything starts to move over. Let's go back to 960. All right. We're going to take our margins right now and if you look at the top margin I'm just going to add some more you're going to see it's going to change all right same thing with columns you're going to see this starts to change because now you have the site ready you can actually see it on the fly and the padding you're not really going to see that change um, because i actually have something going on here which i'll talk about in a header uh, video and we're now going to hit okay and that is how we start a new document and edit our site properties. Let me know in the comments below what your custom settings are and why, what you thought of this video, and what you might uh, have questions about uh, for future videos. Have a great day, everybody. And if you want more information about my course, definitely click here. And you'll be able to own these templates and follow along in every tutorial. Peace.